Okay, we're gonna talk about creating stop motion Google Slides. So we're gonna start with a new slideshow. So once you've created your first slide, we're gonna come up here into the layout and we're gonna change the layout to blank. We just want a blank slide. So now we have to decide what we're gonna animate in our Google Slides. So I've decided that I'm gonna create just a simple sunrise. So I'm gonna start by changing my background. Oops. I'm gonna go in with a gradient background. I'm gonna make it custom. I want the top of my gradient to be black because I wanna create the illusion of a sunrise. And then at the very bottom, I'm going to have just the beginning of kind of the sun coming up on the horizon. Okay, so now I need to add the object that I'm actually going to be moving. So to do that, I am going to insert a shape. I'm going to pick a sun. So I'm going to add my sun onto my slide. I'm going to change the color of it. I'm going to make my sun, oh, let's make him yellow. Okay, since this is my first slide, I'm going to move this all the way down completely off of the slide. So if I were to go into present mode, you wouldn't even be able to see my sun. Okay, now this is the important part. I'm going to go over here into the side pane and I'm going to duplicate this slide. So you're going to do Control D for duplicate, or if you're on a MacBook, it's going to be Command D. So I'm going to duplicate this slide, and then I'm going to take my sun and I'm going to move it up just a little bit. The smaller the movements are that you make, the more fluid your, your presentation is going to look when you put it all together. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to duplicate the slide, and then I'm going to move my sun up a little bit. And I'm going to do this several times. Okay, so now that you can see my sun kind of starting to come up, I'm gonna change my background a little bit. So I'm still gonna go in with the gradient, but I'm gonna change it to where you can kind of see the sky start to lighten up a little bit more. And I'm gonna do that for the next several slides, just so that you can see the background kind of starting to change with the, as the sun moves up into the sky. So all I'm doing to do that is I'm duplicating my slide. Remember, I'm moving my sun up a little bit with each slide, and then I'm going in for my background. I'm going into the gradient. I'm not even changing the colors. I'm just moving my gradient stops so that the color takes up a little bit more space each time to kind of show that the sun is making the sky lighten and get brighter. Okay, so you can see I've continued to change the color of my background each time I'm moving my sun up a little bit. And you can see the progression from the first slide where there's no sun and you can see the sun kind of rising in the sky. So I'm just gonna, I'm continuing with that motion. I'm continuing to duplicate, move my sun up. I'm choosing um, two clicks for lack of a better term, two clicks up each time. And about every slide now I'm going in and adjusting my background because I still want the sky to continue to get lighter until the sky is pretty much completely blue. So I am at this point moving these all the way over so that you can really see the blue in the sky showing that it's daylight. Oops. Duplicate my slide again, continue to move that sun up into the sky. And again, to duplicate my slide, I'm just going clicking into the left side pane and doing command D. If you forget to click in the side pane, it's just going to try to add a bookmark for you. So if you're having that issue, make sure you're clicking on the slide first. 
I'm going to go in, change my background one last time, get rid of any of those lingering yellow colors. And that's a little too, too bright. Duplicate my slide a couple more times just to get that sun nice and high in the sky. Okay, and then when you're ready to publish your slideshow, you're gonna go to File, Publish to the Web, and you want your slide to change every second. We're gonna start the slideshow as soon as the player loads, and we're gonna hit Publish. I'm gonna copy and I'm gonna paste that link into another tab. Okay, so I published my slideshow to the web. Um, I changed those settings and this is the link that I have pasted into my browser. So before I go to this link, I'm gonna change the delay between how often the slides advance from 1000. I'm gonna change mine to about 100, okay? And that's just gonna make the slides advance a little bit more quickly to give it more, um, of that stop motion effect. So then I'm gonna hit enter to load the page and you will see my sunrise progress until that sun is high in the sky. So I hope this tutorial was helpful and I hope you try it out on your own.